Hi, it's Jo from Minerva. Today we're going to look at some lace fabrics for special occasion dresses and evening wear. I've got quite a few different types of fabric here. So some are stretchy, some are sequined, some are beaded. So I want to have a look at some of those textures and try and pair them with the right patterns. My first fabric is a, a delicate lace. It's quite a net feeling lace, this one. It's a sort of it's not tulle, but it has that sort of tulle feeling to it. It's not so drapey, it's just really light and airy. And it, it's really light in weight as well. You can see it's just got a little bit of shape that it holds. So it needs to be lined and it needs some structure that holds it down because this wouldn't really make a gathered skirt. It would be a little bit... Or a young child you wouldn't get that sort of sophistication from it so it needs a pattern that holds down the lace but then you can see the design and so the pattern that I've chosen is the by hand London dress because you've got simple pleats here under the bust and then you have um, a fabric that holds your lace down so it would match really well if you used a soft crepe underneath you'd, you'd add some drape to your lace it is only narrow this fabric it's 44 inches wide so check that against your pattern there's a 20 percent uh, stretch in it as well so that will give you a little bit of ease around the hips and this one comes in 26 different colors there's a really nice example of the by hand london dress here Using the same pattern, you can try um, a looser weave. So this is nylon, it's got more stretch and it's much drapier. You can see this one doesn't hold its shape at all. You can see the design through the white background there. And that one would also make the by hand London dress. This is a Chantilly lace. It comes in 19 colors and this one's 55 inches wide, so much wider to get the um, long skirt pieces from. This next fabric really is built for stretch. It's got 5% elastane, so that's got a real stretch with a stretch recovery. It's got a border that you can cut out. Can you see if you snip those little threads there, you'll get a border finish. It's 95% polyester and 5% elastane. This one's much wider, it's 55, uh, 57 inches wide. And again, you can use this um, for making the previous pattern. So you could use it to make the by hand London dress, but really you want something that's much more fitted where you can really take advantage of that stretch. And the pattern that I've chosen is McCall's 7569. And this is a pattern for stretch knits. Um, which is unusual, you don't often see a evening dress pattern with stretch knits, but you will need to line this then with a, uh, a light jersey. So an ITY interlock jersey or um, a viscose jersey. So you need something quite light and fluid. There's quite a lot of different views on there. You can have the body lined and then you can use the sheerness of the lace for the flank sleeve or for the fishtail hem. That's something a bit special. And this stretch lace with elastane would make this pattern. I've shown this fabric lots of times before because it is one of my favourites. And today it's a little bit sunny, so we're getting the real full effect of the fabric. This is a glitter lace satin. This one's the green version. It's got a glitter background and a corded leaf and floral design and the reverse is satin so that's really nice against your skin so this one doesn't need lining so that means you can choose a whole new set of patterns because you're just treating this fabric as um, a drapey special effects fabric without having to worry about what you're going to line it with and the pattern that I made is this one this is Simplicity 8637 
This is um, view A. Really simple to make because it's a wrap dress. If you can make darts, then you can make this evening dress because it it really does just have some sleeve set in and some darts here. And what's great about this fabric is because of the lovely finish on the reverse, then through here where you get the wrap, you get a nice bit that people might see on the reverse. And then I've used the belt on the reverse so I get the same colours but um, it's matching the colour of the main dress. Really wonderful fabric. It's an absolutely beautiful dress in this. I will show it you now. My next fabric is a bit further up on the price scale. This is absolutely stunning. I think the best way I'm going to be able to show you that is with the white background. It's a beaded lace. It's got a border edge. I'm going to put a piece of fabric behind that so that you can see the design. So there's the design and the sequins. And that's the border there. This fabric is called Annabelle, it comes in two colours. It's 50% nylon and 50% rayon, so it's got that element of drape. It's heavy. It's got a real weight about it, a real special occasion fabric. You can see it moving there in the sun. And the pattern that I've chosen is Verda 6423. And it's a evening dress in the shift style with a lining underneath so you've got the lining part underneath and then you make the dress that goes over the top it's not scratchy on the inside you could wear that against your skin and it's not um, uncomfortable obviously if you had it as um, a strapless bodice then you've got a piece there so you've got to be careful you don't make it uncomfortable under your arm there but on that one, you'll be having the reverse side against your skin all of the time. So that one's comfortable. If dresses aren't your thing, then maybe you can make an evening top. So I've been looking at New Look 6662, which is a sort of shell top with a tie. And it's a shell top here. And then from this shoulder seam, you get this drape so you'll be mixing your fabrics here so you could put um a dutch set a duchess satin or a silk underneath and then have the chantilly lace or the um floral lace coming over your shoulder you can see the shape there of the top from the back it's plain and then from the shoulder comes the tie and from the side the interesting design so you need quite a light lace because you'll want something that you can tie a knot in without damaging all the beads or sequins. And this one is a fine floral lace. It's 59 inches wide, 100% polyester. It comes in 28 different colours and you can see that even when you have it bunched and then tied, you'll get a really nice drape with that one. It's got a sort of slight sheen to it. Can you see the sheen there? Here. But the best thing about that is it's really soft and drapey. So you'll be able to get that drape across your shoulder. The next few fabrics I've got something in common, which is um, something you might not find online unless you read some Minerva Makers details, which is why reading what people say about fabric is useful, is these are really beautiful stunning fabrics but you need to choose the right thing to make with them because they're a little bit scratchy so this fabric to hold all the branch shapes and all the sequins on this is the right side you're seeing then the wrong side 
has quite a lot of stitching and it's not really smooth stitching so if you have it here although that looks beautiful it is a little bit uncomfortable so these sort of things are great as a layering piece where you've got something underneath and um, that on top if you're making um, a dress then this would need to be a completely lined one so um, a pattern that would work for that is the sew uh, over it uh, shift dress which I'll show you now because you can completely line this item so you would have um, lining in the sleeves and in the main dress so that you could have this stunning fabric but not have it scratching you so you would need a crepe lining or an acetate lining under this fabric it is beautiful it's um, called rose gold it comes in three colors it's 100% polyester and again you would need to be careful with what was here because it would scratch under your arms because there's a lot of sequins there the um, Minerva maker dress that I've chosen has a very deep um, cut under the arm so this fabric's been used but it's not touching here in the uh, underarm this next fabric is absolutely amazing it's a glitter lace so away from the florals this one's got a much more of a geometric um, print to it but again it's scratchy on both sides so you need to choose this carefully too scratchy to wear against your skin but if you line this with a duchess satin um, you can make a beautiful full length skirt so if you um, have the waistband in satin and then your satin skirt and then this is an overlay coming from the waistband you'll get all the joy of the glitter and the lace but none of it will be touching your skin this one comes in two colors it's a metallic lace called sparta it's 100 percent polyester and it's really nice and wide so it's um 59 inches wide so even if you wanted to try a circle skirt with a satin waistband and a satin underskirt and then this on top you'd get the the width to cut a circle skirt so that one would make a beautiful evening skirt another stunning fabric in this um more special occasion range here that i've shown you at the end this is another one that's uh, scratchy to wear but beautiful to look at so you just need to pick the right fabric it's got sort of um little 3d flowers on it daisies and beaded areas so this would make a circle skirt or a full length evening skirt it would also make the sew over its dress that I showed you before because if it's fully lined you'll get all the effect of the lace but um, it would be comfortable to wear. The other thing that you can make with this sort of fabric is this throw here. So this is Simplicity 8924. So you can have your shoulders and your upper arms covered and then have the flow of this and all the design of this over the top of trousers so that's another option for these fabrics that are highly decorated but maybe not so comfortable against your skin look at that it's so lovely this one's called larissa This fabric is a cotton lace that I'm going to show you now and I'm holding it up with some crepe behind so that you can see the design and it's got a sort of teardrop border edge which you can play with on the hem or um, around the arm. This one hasn't got any stretch, it's a cotton lace, it's 55 inches wide, it's 70% cotton and 30% nylon. But you could wear this against your skin it's smooth enough you can make um the cashmere montrose top out of that 
but what you choose to put behind it really does tell the story of it and I'm going to be using these two fabrics to make myself a dress and I'm using New Look 6526 and I'm making this view here which is view B so it's got lace worked with the crepe on the top half and then it's got the full skirt unlaced you could use tulle to make these ones that have got the wrap on the top this one's got the wrap on the top and sheer sleeve so there's a lot of different ways that you could use lace all of the ones that I've shown today with this pattern my final special occasion um, lace is this beaded lace this is called Penelope you can probably hear it on the table that's all these glass beads that are attached to it and it's really heavy it's got a lot of weight in it because all of those beads are making up the weight of the fabric but the background fabric feels really um, like it will take the weight and that's helping it to drape it's a polyester and it's 53 inches wide now you'll need some skills for working with this fabric because you'll need to be removing some of the beads so that you don't damage your sewing machine although they are quite spaced out so you could be quite skillful and sew in between um, there is an absolutely stunning uh, jumpsuit on our website to take a look at you can get information there from the maker about how to deal with beads but this fabric if lined will also work for a dress and I've chosen the Alicia dress from Skylark Patterns so that's got a slip underneath and then um, a lace overlay this is a really this one's much softer against your skin so you could wear this against your skin without it feeling scratchy and it does have a border edge that you trim out with really small scissors so it's on the selvage edge so there's the selvage edge and you can cut out the edge Skylark patterns have um, not as many instructions as big four patterns that's the instructions to make that whole dress so it's assuming you have some sewing knowledge there's a few diagrams to help you with the trickier bits but it does just come on this one pattern sheet without an instruction booklet but this fabric is just beautiful it would also make those long evening skirts that i was talking about um, that you wear a shell top with or a little crop shell top with because it's just got the most amazing flow so take a look at that one take a look at what our Minerva makers have been making with lace and if you read their post you'll find some really useful details on tips and techniques that they used when working with lace you can join the Minerva Club and receive updates, promotions and offers in your inbox. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.